This video is going to show you the student side of sending and receiving files. So first we're going to have the teacher send this particular student a file. Um, of course you'll want to make sure that the student is connected to your class and I've locked in the student so the student cannot disconnect from the class. So we know we're good with that. I'm just going to pin that toolbar open so that we can see it. So I have a student or a um, file from the teacher that I'm going to send and again I could send it to the desktop and it would just show up here and I could drag it into a science folder or a social studies folder but I'm going to show you what happens when you send it to the classroom management software folder so here a white box has popped up saying that I'm receiving a file from the teacher now when this white box is up I can't do everything else on my computer so the teacher has to leave that sending file um, mode in order to give me complete control back I can't even close this out so once the teacher closes out the file sending file distribution on their computer, now I have control back and I can do what I need to do. Now to find that file, I'm going to go up here to where we see the orange button and it says view files from the teacher. And if I click on that, I can see a list here of all the files that have come to me through the classroom management software um, as long as it's gone into that folder. Um, it, teacher may have sent it to the desktop instead so those are the two places to look so right here is that file and I can open it and type in it and save it to my computer just like I would any other file so that's how to receive a file from the teacher now to send a file we're going to click the green arrow one that says submit files to teachers and you have the choice of adding a single file or sending an entire folder I would caution you against having the students do this because folder contents can get quite um, extensive, but there may be some, some situations where that might be helpful. For today, I'm just going to send a single document, and I'm going to pull a document that I've saved to my desktop um, that I called homework. I'm just going to open that. It says pending right now, and it's going to continue to say that until I click submit. And when I click submit, it's going to continue to say pending until the teacher goes to the file collection window on their software. And that will allow, um, and then they have to click accept all. So I showed you that on the teacher side of things. And until the teacher does their part, it's not going to show that the file has been submitted. Now it is showing that it's submitted. And when the teacher leaves the file collection window, then it will um, let the student have control of their computer back again. So that's what the student side of everything looks like. Um, please make sure you go back and watch the teacher side of things because that's the part that you'll be controlling as you send and receive files from your students.